Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about a special, special book. The Electric State by Simon Stalinog. This book is fantastic, y'all. Um, I'm going to show you one or two pictures, but there is artwork on every single page. That's important because the book is brand new, uh, full price is $35. Now, before you click away, you need to see some of this stuff. I'm not going to show you the best work, but this is what you're getting. That kind of stuff. And I'm going to show you one more that I picked out, especially for this video. That. Now, there's more than just this. Um, now, the, th the thing that there's a lot more than what I showed you. Um, in fact, those one of those pictures is one of my favorite pictures in the book, and one is uh, just a good overview of what you're going to get the majority of the time, which is stuff kind of lost in the mist. Um, it's the story revolves around a girl and her little robot companion, Skip, right there. Uh, there is a terrific story underneath all of this artwork, also. The, I, I, I hesitate to say too much about the story because I don't want to spoil anything for you, but it has to do with virtual reality and they, it's these helmets people wear. Um, and that's about, I think that's all I want to tell you about this one. The premise is great. The concept, the art, everything is cool. I did not expect the, with artwork this good, I did not expect the story to be even better. Um, I know that sounds odd, but usually when you have a, a one-person uh, art book like this, the story lacks and then the artwork fills in the holes. There could be no artwork in here and it would still be a great book. The artwork is more, much more than just the icing on the cake. It does add depth and uh, layer and it, it helps those that might not be able to visualize what the author is talking about in here. It does help with all that, but it's not needed. I'm glad that it's there because there's some amazing imagery in here, um, but there might be, it, it might be too good in some places. And what I mean by that is sometimes the writing evokes a certain visual image, at least for me it did, and then the image, while terrific, is, and I was talking about this on stream yesterday, the image is terrific, but it doesn't live up to what I, I conjured in my own head. Um, I know that sounds weird, but it's like, you know, all, let's say, even if you don't like cake, let's just say, for the sake of argument, all cake is delicious, okay? You have, but chocolate cake, I feel chocolate cake is more delicious than vanilla cake. I love both, but I'm going to go for the chocolate cake first. And the chocolate cake is kind of my imagination, and the vanilla cake is what's on here. Not that there's anything plain about it. Um, the artwork is amazing, but it's, but it's so good, is what I'm trying to say. The artwork and story are so good that they don't need each other. So when they come together, somehow it, it makes a... It makes not a lesser experience. That's not what I'm trying to say. It makes an experience that does kind of take away because you can see the artwork and imagine the story. You can read the story and imagine the artwork. Together, it's kind of like he's holding, the author is holding your hand. Now, that does not change the fact that I loved every single page of this book. That would be my only complaint. It's not really a complaint, it's a compliment because both things are so good. The, what, what truly shocked me is the ending. I was not expecting to get to the ending of this book and see the last final images with no words on the screen and to, to feel such a deep emotion for this book. Um, I thought this was just some, you know, some very cool, grim, uh, I don't want to call it cyberpunk art, but because I don't think that's cyberpunk. It might be, um, now that I think about it. But I wasn't expecting to have such a deep connection over the passage of time that I read this. And when I got to the final bit of it, 
and I was reading about Michelle and Skip and all that, and then it just stopped. And I was given images instead. That carried so much more emotional weight for me. Um, I guess I kind of spoiled just a little bit. Uh, you know that the, the, that the writing stops before the actual book stops, but um, it's up to it's up to you to read it for yourself. And I really, really do hope you do. Uh, this is this is just something that you can pick up and look at at the st at the uh, bookstore. But I mean, it's fantastic artwork, and I'm kind of I'm kind of <laughs> I'm kind of stunned speechless by this book because I wasn't expecting it. It came out of left field for me. Uh, the publisher sent it to me for review, uh, sent me a nice little presser and whatnot. Um, and I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting the book. I wasn't expecting, it's one of those pleasant surprises kind of like uh, Carolina Kepnes's You was. It just came out of nowhere for me. Um, it's not something I was looking forward to, but I am definitely now a fan of Stellan Hogg's work, and I'm going to go check out the rest of his stuff. He has two more, I think, Tales from the Loop um, and Things from the Flood. So I'm excited to go back and pick up those books. But if you read Simon Stellan Hogg, if so, let me know down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!